Hey guys, thought I'd do this overview of the Sequestria, of the Cantalot Sequestria uh, set that I got for forty-five dollars, not eighty-eight like originally priced, or seventy-one or anything like that. Forty-five dollars. Basically, we had a lot of these. Well, at first I thought, okay, we only have a few, so they're gonna sell. Well, after Christmas, I noticed uh, in the back sec, in the in the back of the store. As you're heading towards um, garden, like let's say this direction heads to gar the, the garden, right next to it, like where these storage units are, this is where they had like they they originally had the Christmas trees and all that, the fake you know the you know the re the uh, uh, fake Christmas trees and all that, whatever you want to call them, the Christmas trees to sell and all that, the ferns, uh, as well as some other decorations and stuff. Well, after Christmas, they took those out and they placed a lot of the big toy boxes, a lot of the big toy figures or sets in that area for a time. And this was over there still at its 88 price. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll wait, probably try to get it, right? Well, what happened is they ended up moving it and they ended up moving it to the middle. Well, not the middle, but kind of like at the beginning as you get ready to go down towards down the aisle towards sporting goods, toys, domestics, you name it. It's like, okay, you're going down this aisle, like down this aisle right here is when you would turn here, like here's where, it's like here on one side, I'll give you, like where my Star Wars stuff is. This would be like where HBA is, home beauty accessories. On the other, and then you have some stuff in the middle related to it. But then on the other side, you have but then on the other side is the aisle going down towards sporting goods and toys. Well, in the middle of it, like where my, um, let's see, like right where my door is, they had, um, they had a little small display about the same size as, as this, basically about the same height. And they had all the big toys and stuff, or big toys or sets, all in there, or major some of them in there. And they were selling them for half of what they were, or at least, yeah, about half of what they were. And basically, uh, right there on, on the on the uh, on one side, because like on one side, like on this side, you had like the Kong figures and stuff like that. But then on the other side, you had things like, of course, this. And there was like seven or eight of them left still. So just like with any retail store or business. If you don't sell as much, the best way to sell them is to reduce in price. So they went to 50, and then when I finally ended up getting it, it went down to 45, which it still is at. It probably went down a little bit more. And what's ironic is the day I finally got this, I was it was my day off, like today. Today's my day off. It was a Thursday a couple weeks ago. And one of the, the and as I was waiting for my Lyft ride, because I take Lyft sometimes to come get me, one lady saw what I had she's like "Ooh, where'd you get that how much is it and I and I explained to her what it was and she says oh that's just good timing my my daughter's birthday's right around the corner so she went and obviously she went inside she thanked me for pointing it out to her she went inside went to the area where I was at apparently and bought it because next day I'd come to work and one or two is missing so <laughs> yeah anyway I ended up getting this finally and the only thing that I had to get to really finish it off was some AAA batteries because this thing here, which is part of the set, takes AAA batteries. Now this on average, by piecing it together, on average would take you maybe about an hour, maybe 90 minutes, depending. It took me a couple of hours because, you know, of course, I had some other things to take care of. Um, I had to have some other things to take care of, basically, you know, and you know from there uh, basically I had to take care of a few things here and there air um, that kind of distracted me but I was able to finally finish it hold on for a sec Gotta let my dog out for a moment. And the reason you see in the ground is I don't want 
is uh, my mom has a particular is very particular about people seeing the house. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, like I was saying, as I let my dog out there for a moment, and uh, let me turn off the heater for a minute because I don't want her to complain about the fact that the heater's been on all day. So we'll turn that off for a second. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, it took me about several, a couple of hours, about two to three hours, because I had a few distractions here and there that I had to, that I did, and I did have to take care of. Um, but overall, I finally got it together, and like I said, the last thing I need to do is get some batteries. I got some, I got a four pack of AAA lithium energizer batteries, and three of them are in here. Uh, but overall, I think I did a decent job. I mean, I looked at the instruction manual, as well as the box, and of course, this right here is the instruction manual. It's, it's a pretty big manual, if I can uh, get it out for a sec. And of course, I dropped something. I want the animals to get a hold of that and it still drops again there we go but yeah the instruction manual um, <laughs> is a very decent size um, as you're going to see it's not big but as you could see this is pretty much the size of it it's a um, as you can see it's a pretty big size not too big but it's basically, from what it tells you, it's a 14-step process uh, to put together. And it's a 14-step process uh, to do. It even shows you, like, where to put certain items and stuff, so, <laughs> stuff like that. And the box, of course, I have stored away, in, uh, stored away in the garage because of the fact that if I ever decide to take this down, let's say I have to move, me and my mom have to move, which hopefully, thankfully, won't be for a long time, I'll be able to either take this down and put it back together like wherever we would move to. But anyway, as you can see, it came with a lot. Not the Tempest uh, Twilight thing that I talked about earlier. That's, as you, like I told you in that video, you notice why I kind of positioned them. It kind of looks like they're fighting in front of it. And no, it didn't come with the Stratus Sky Ranger. What it did come with, though, was a Celestia figure. Um, we can uh, move on and look at that. Came with a good, a nice looking Celestia figure. It came with a Twilight figure. Which is pretty nice. Came with a Queen Nova figure. And then it came with another Sea Pony figure. I'm guessing that's one of Skystar's sisters. But overall, it was, like I said, even though it took me a couple of hours, it was, oh, it was pretty easy to put together. I mean, what you really got to do to make it steady is to, <coughs> is to really, it's snap it in all, snap it together. It's basically a snap together kind of thing. You got to make sure that a lot of it gets snapped together. It's basically like you're snapping, 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 you're not screwing or anything. There's little pegs, little hole pegs and all that that you snap together. And there you go. But overall, you can see what it comes with. It comes with these little uh, <coughs> figures as well. You got um, a little seashell with stuff, little uh, teapot, and you got a treasure chest behind there. Um, as you can see, again, like you got a sea pony here. It also came with a little spike figure. You can see right there, a little sea spike in his puffer fish form. I forgot to show that, but that's where you're supposed to put him. It comes with this, which um, ironically does that. So, so you do that. It's pretty cool. And that one doesn't do anything. This one you're supposed to, I think, put. Oops, my <laughs> my shirt got tangled on something. This here, if I can look at it real quickly, you're supposed to put like some of the figures that the My Little Pony figures, the All About Me figures, on there. And then, of course, up there, uh, if we can zoom in, got another little figure with a little table with figure uh, accessories. Uh, same right there, little ducky, and of course, again, Celestia. You got a little uh, mirror there as well that came with some stuff, so that's pretty cool. Heck, you can even see the camera in there. 
You look good quickly, yeah. It's a real mirror in a sense, so that's really nice. And then the spike thing uh, is supposed to go up and down, so. It's supposed to go up and down, basically. I, I don't know if I can get it to go up and down. Um, yeah, there, there it goes. It's supposed to go um, up and down a little bit. You heard that. It's supposed to go up and down out a little bit. So, as you can see, I like to have it up there and of course gotta get spiked back up a little bit there we go but yeah it's supposed to go up and down as well and then of course that is a triller you can put uh, the sea ponies on that triller and of course it does troll just in case you guys are wondering it, it does troll a little bit it trolls actually it's supposed to troll up is what it's supposed to do as you can probably see it trolls right up there you go trolls up so that's pretty nice and then you got this part and then finally and of course you got her, you got um, Queen Nova's throne I tried to put Nova on there I just couldn't do it so I just placed it over there but yeah you got her throne and again all this that came with it and uh, you know, like I said you got some other stuff right there and then uh, this part here this is the real interesting one this is where the AAA batteries came into play. Oh, sorry. This is where the AAA batteries came into play. And like I said, as you can see, we got some more stuff up there. Uh, but this is this one is doesn't connect to the thing, but it is part of the set. But this is where the AAA batteries come into play because when you put when you open these, you can actually open these. As you can see, you open them. There you go. And then um, I guess. Yeah, they, they shut, there you go. Each of them opens, in a sense. Basically, all have their own little doors that you can open and, you know, place pony characters in. And then what it does, um, let me see if I can get some, if I can dim some lights here for a second. Dim some lights, so. It's getting dark anyway, but I'm going to dim some lights. I'm going to show you what this does. You see this little figure up here? It's a little pony figure. For some reason, it's pink instead of silver. Unless, you know, I got one that has pink on it or something. But what you do is you move this. And then as you can see, you got one that lights up. You move it again. You got the other that lights up. And then you move, you got that one that lights up. And then you have that happen which is pretty cool as you can see you get one light up you get another light up and then you get the bottoms lit up and then you go from there and it turns off but then it takes a couple of times I think to get it back to what it did It does it on times. I think you just got to get the right combination with it or, or something.
And so you got to kind of get like a little right comment. It takes a few twerks here and there. You leave it on and you get something like that. And there you go. That's what it is. You got to leave it on like that and then that's what it does. So that's pretty cool. So basically it's like one turn turns on the green, then turns on the red or pink, and then turns on the blue. And then there you go. And then boom. So overall, not a bad figure to have, especially for $45. I mean, and let my let me let my dog back in I'll be right back <laughs> Sorry about that guys, I had to let my dog back in. She was letting me know that hey, you don't forget about me kind of deal. But yeah, that's pretty cool for about $45 to have something like that. Uh, does it look good during the day? Uh, it looks all right, this part during the day. You know, it doesn't, you know, go as well during the day as it does at night. I mean, it's still all right. And it does it differently, so that's pretty cool. Um, overall though, this is a nice figure to have, a nice set to have. This is a nice set to have in the collection. Um, I would highly recommend you getting it, especially if it's being clearanced out right now. So wherever you could find it, look for it on Amazon, look for it on Walmart. You'll probably find it for a lot less than it was. And really, that's all I could say. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this overview of the Cantalot Sequestria set. And I will talk to you all later.